What's going on guys, Orzu here, and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Adidas Insigne card to review today. It's a card that literally just came out as an SBC, and it's a card that is looking alright, I would say, because it's only a plus one overall if we are comparing it to his gold card, but he has had a good increase to his pace. He's had a plus four to his pace, a plus one to dribbling, a plus one to shooting, a plus one to defending, a plus one to passing, and a plus one to physicals as well so yeah it's not like a crazy upgrade from the gold card but the pace is always nice to see especially knowing that eventually it will go up to 99 now he is a five foot four player so he's an extremely extremely small player he's got high medium work rates four star skill moves and a four star weak foot things you'll have to see by the way that four star four star now when it comes down to the chem style there's two chem styles that i would say is the go-to but it kind of depends which kind of position you're playing this guy in. If you are playing this guy down the line, I advise going for the Hawk Chem style simply because you're giving him that extra increase to his pace, which is always going to be helpful down the line. Now, if you are thinking you're playing this guy in a more of a striker position, you go for the finisher Chem style simply because the shooting ability, it needs help. It needs a lot. And I mean a lot of help. So yeah, finisher Chem style in a striker position. Hawk chem style down the line. Another reason I feel like the Hawk chem style is the way to go is because you are boosting this guy's shot power by a plus 10. You are also boosting this guy's long shot by a plus 10 as well. And especially him having that finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait as well. What you can do on that left side is cut in on his stronger foot, aka his right foot, and you can go for those finesse shots, especially with the finesse shot trait and those kind of stats. I feel like it's going to fly into the back of the net. Now he's passing ability. Isn't looking too bad, I must admit. You could low-key play this guy in a cam position if you really want to. He has got high medium work rate, so I'm probably expecting him to be quite aggressive there. But with that kind of passing ability, is looking top tier. Now his dribbling ability, saying that he's a five foot four player. I'm expecting him to feel good, like straight up. With those kind of dribbling stats, being five at four, you should feel like an absolute god on the ball. Now, the physicals, this is where, you know, it goes all the way down the drain. I wished, by the way, they actually upgraded the stamina by a better amount. It was only a plus two upgrade. Like, we all can see, clearly see, the stamina is not the greatest. Why would an EA sit there and go, all right, let's go ahead and give him a plus 10? It doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. His strength and aggression is one of the worst I have seen in this game. You know, he's not an aggressive uh, aggressive player, let's say. He's not a player that you should be expecting to use his strength. He's one of those players that should feel amazing on the ball. Obviously, have an okay shot and a player that is always, always going to be fast. So, yeah, the physicals, we're not expecting much from it. Now, when it comes down to the links, Italian, Napoli, AK, in this area, the links are actually pretty decent. I've got your boy Nakata and Murata just to get him on full chemistry. When it comes down to positions, I am going to be playing this guy in three positions. I'm going to be playing this guy in his natural position down the left. I'll play this guy in a cam position as well. And I want to try him in a striker position as well. So let's get into the games. Give it down. Oh, that was meant to Insigne, by the way. But it doesn't matter. We got the ball. Oh my God. Look how he feels on the ball. Can I use his pace here? Yes, I can. Can I strike it across goal? No, I cannot. The pace there and how he fell on the ball there. That was impressive, I must admit. And he looks extremely small in game, by the way. Obi8 through the gap there. Nice, well played. I'm just going to pass it down here. See if I can go for a few dribbles. Use that pace just to accelerate. He's got an instant acceleration touch, which is really, really nice. And if we score this... Oh my God, what a finish, Mbappe. But I was so lucky to get there. I'm just going to hit it to him down the line. Take a touch there. Him against Tavernier. I might just want to go for the 1-2 here. Just use his pace. Rb8 to him. There you go. Nice touch and turn. Keep it going. Can I eventually get around a corner? Fake sure that. This guy keeps thinking I'm going to cut back. I can see the way he's trying to position these defenders. We do so well with the dribbling there, by the way. And create a perfect angle. It's just it didn't want to go into the back of the net. Just give it to his feet. Nice. Good touch and turn. Go for a roulette there. Use his pace now. Wall roll. RBA. Oh, my God. Look how perfect, by the way, that pass actually is. Right in between the two defenders. Is Insigne going to make that run? He's actually not. He's going to give me that passing option, which I don't mind either because I know I can just touch it like that. Use his pace. Go for that green time for it, please. Oh, my God. I actually thought he was going in for a second. It was a ridiculous angle. If he went in from that angle, I would have been very surprised. But it was still a good shot, to be fair to him. That's a good pass. Really good pass. Nice touch as well. Use it. Keep going. I love how he feels on the ball. He'll oh, my God. What is happening? Morata. It's so typical to Morata to get in the way as well. To be fair, it didn't look at anything insane of a shot. I was kind of confused what happened inside the box, to be fair. 
Just hit that across. Insigne, Insigne is actually cutting a little bit and he's found the space to get in behind. I'm just going to go for it. Just a simple across goal finish. And that is terrible. That's probably one of the worst shots I have seen. I understand it's on his weaker foot, but it's a four-star weak foot. Come on, man. He's actually kind to the inside. I am noticing that, by the way. He likes to move into the inside a good amount of times. I'm going to call him short because I thought he was going to make a run there. We'll roll that. Turn again. Morata again. Morata, you, you need to stop getting in the way, bro. Like, what am I actually seeing? He's getting put onto the ground. I'm going to actually tell Mbappe to make a run. And I'm just going to trust in Insigne's passing ability to allow me to just smack it over. Oh, come on. The pass looked very good, to be fair to him, though. Come on, Akata. Run there. I tried to turn back for a second, but the guy actually tackled early. See what I can do with Insigne here. Go for a fake shot that. La Coqueta. Nice. Can I keep it going? I'm telling you, the way he falls on the ball is really, really good. Like, look at that. He keeps it very nice and close to his feet. Allow me to kind of get any angle I kind of want to get. This guy's just holding me up very well. I don't know what to do here. I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to hit him with that and then just try to shoot. The way he is defending is so passive. He doesn't go in for the tackle. It's like he's just holding L2 and just waiting for that automatic tackle to actually happen. There you go. Just pass it through the gap. I am playing him, by the way, now into the cam position. Because I felt like he was amazing down the line. He really was with his pace and stuff. But I want to make him get involved with the play. So now I've moved him into the cam position. And he's already played a decent pass. Look at him trying to make those runs. He is definitely not going to be one of those cams that is going to sit back. He wants to get forward. He wants to be the person that actually scores the goals. I'm just going to run with Lorente here. Nice. Insigne actually gave me a good passing option there. I'm just going to use his pace to maybe just get around the corner. And the strength did come into play. But this guy... Takes his time to go for the clearance, but what a save from Chesney, man. I'm just going to go for a simple cutback here. I feel like no one's going to really give me an option. Insigne just wants to be there in the striker position literally all the time. It's a nice turn, to be fair, but Chesney again, man. He's shooting a bit. He really isn't it, man. When you're trying to play this guy in a more of like a cam position, you're not going to need as much pace. So what I would say to you guys, if you're playing him in a cam, go for the finisher cam style. And obviously, if you're playing him in a striker, go for the finisher cam style as well. I'm just going to go for an early cut in here. RV8 all the way to the other side. Insigne's made very nice movement, by the way. He didn't just stay central there. He actually wanted to get out wide. But again, man, the finishing, it's just letting us down. He's getting himself in so many good positions. I feel like after this game, I'm most likely going to switch to that finisher chem style. Insigne, give me that option. There you go. Well played. Good, Really good touch, actually, to get past Kempembe. Kempembe easily caught up, though. But we do well. We do so well. And then the block comes into play, man. Keep going. Try to get past him there. No shot, ref. Okay. Full roll. Oh, my God. That's straight through his legs. Referee, where's the play on? Where is the play on? I'm about to go through on goal. Come on, man. I'm going to see if I can just go for my tactic here. Just use Insigne's pace to maybe get him behind easily. Come on. Play him there. There you go. Go for a roulette. Fake shot this. I could pass into the inside, but I'm going to believe in him. And oh my God, that was actually a good shot as well. And we end up here in the post. I trusted in that full star weak foot going to run a little bit here with Insigne. I do see a run all the way to the other side, by the way, and I'm going to go for it. And look how perfect of a pass that actually is. Or I'll scoop that. There you go. Insigne has gone for that simple cutback. One, two. Give it to him. Take a touch. Outside. We'll roll this. There you go. We faked him. No. We even greened it as well. What a save. Just straight up. What a save, man. Just give that all the way across. That's a good touch. I'm going to give it a go. I might as well. And we end up hitting the post, man. We are getting so unlucky to not score these goals. Like these opportunities. That's a really nice shot as well. Lorente, I do see you, but I'm just going to use you as a dummy. We're going to go across. I'm trusting in that four-star weak foot. I feel like a little bit too much, you know? And we just end up hitting the post after post after post. Go forward, Morata. Give it to him. I've actually moved him into a striker position now. We need goals. Come on, Insigne. You have to finish that opportunity. That one is literally, literally wide open. If he misses that, hmm, that's very questionable if he does. Just turn here. RBA into him. Oh, no, he's stamina. Look, he's stamina. Bottom left corner. It's low. I'm still going to give it a go, though. I might as well. Yeah, his stamina is like, what, the 85th minute now? It's low. He's not going to be one of those players near the end that is going to be making those runs in behind, to be fair. Nice. Well play, Lorente. Quick one, two. See if I can maybe get it to go. That's perfect. Oh my God. What a finish as well. Where was those kind of finishes, by the way? Where have they been? Give that onto the edge. That's a good pass to Mbappe, to be fair. 
Oh my god, he literally went straight through me. Cooler barley, bro. Relax. Relax. Nice. Well played, Insigne. Use your pace to get past that as well. I tried to use that acceleration touch. It didn't really work out. That's a pass. Th Hello? What did I just witness? What was the camera? No, what just happened? No way. That, that ain't a goal, by the way. No way. Insigne on the ball. Go for a simple turn and touch there. That's a good pass. That is a very good pass. I'm liking that about him, by the way. The fact that he can actually do that on both feet is really, really good to see. I could have probably just... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We absolutely sent that guy for hot dog. I wasn't expecting him to slide tackle, by the way. But I'll take it. I do see you, Insigne. And he's actually got the ball. Just pass it across. Yeah, Mbappe. <gasps> no. No, 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 no. E EA. EA, what am I seeing? What am I actually seeing? That's a dime of a pass by Insigne as well. Go, Morata. Go. That's a good run from Insigne. Shoot it first time. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, some finishes that he does is absolutely unreal. But then there's other occasions where he will miss a wide open opportunity. Give it down the line if possible. Oh, that's beauty. Come on. Play that into the inside. Past him. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I mean, maybe I should have took my time a little bit, but still, at least get that on target. He's done so well to get past Kempembe. So it is time to review, and we ended up playing five games with Insigne. We actually walked away with five goals, and we also got ourselves two assists as well. The one thing that was really, really annoying on the card was definitely his shooting ability. How inconsistent it actually was. There was opportunities, I was like, okay... This ain't going to go in. It's a hard angle. Surely it's probably going to get saved or it's going to go past the post. AK missed the target. Next thing you know, it flew top bins. But then there was another opportunity where it would be a wide open shot and it would just go past the post. Like, what's happening here? How inconsistent is the shooting ability? I definitely do recommend, by the way, going for the finish chem style if you are thinking of playing this guy in the cam or striker position. If you're thinking of playing this guy down the line, go for the Hawk cam style because the pace increase is going to be really, really nice down the line. Now, the things about this card is the fact that it's near enough the gold. It really is. It's near enough the gold card. It's just he has extra pace. So, is it worth the 110,000 coins it is, current, it is currently going for? It kind of depends what kind of person you are. If you are patient and obviously you want to wait for that 99 pace and 99 sprint speed, then the 110k will be worth it. But if you are not a patient person at all and, you know, you can't wait for that 99, then obviously it will not be worth it because it's not like a, a that big of a deal if you get this card or not get this card. You're not really missing out on anything because you know the dribbling ability, the passing ability, the shooting ability, and the physicals are all going to feel the exact same as that gold card. It's literally just the pace that you are going to notice a difference. So yeah, it kind of depends what kind of person you are. If you are patient, then I would say go ahead. But if you are not, then obviously just sit back and leave this one out. Either way, where would I put him? In the attacker's tier list. Hmm... I don't think he deserves to go into a A tier. I don't, I don't believe he deserves to go into an S tier either. But I feel like B is a very nice tier for him. I really, really do. So yeah, B tier for the attacker's tier list. Now, he's a card that we can obviously compare to someone like Pedro. You know, who would I take? Would I take a Pedro or would I take this Insigne card? I'm going to be honest. I probably would actually take Pedro because of the shooting ability. I really would. I feel like that shooting ability on Pedro is just so much better than this Insigne card. So yeah, I would personally take Flashback Pedro over this Insigne card. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.